Hi there, Izzy from DigitalGoja.com and today we're going to take a look at the Altura Photo Pro Series Digital SLR Universal Flash. This guy is made to work with today's most popular DSLRs, be Canon, Nikon, Olympus, Pentax, I can go on and on. It'll work on all your DSLRs and for you photo enthusiasts that are still working with the old school, it'll work with your film SLRs also. It's meant to work very straightforward. You have three different modes. By pressing the mode button, your first one is manual. That means that now you with the plus and minus are going to control the power output of this flash. The higher the output, the more power and the further your flash travels. But it also lowers your continuous shooting mode. So you can also lower it all the way down to 1 1 28th power. And this way you can fire more rapidly, but it also lowers your output on the flash so your distance is going to be limited. Your next mode is S1 and S2. These are your slave modes so that with today's built-in flashes on most of our DSLRs you'll be able to control your flash from your camera. That way you can use the handy stand that it comes with which is at itself self-standing and you also have an adapter on the bottom so you can connect to today's most popular tripods and light stands. This gives you a little bit more capability and being able to control how much light sources you're going to have in your imaging. So that way you can be a lot more creative. It's very important for the pro enthusiast and also for anybody that wants to start getting into better lighting situations other than just shooting with the flash that's built into your camera. Let's see how this works. Now of course you're going to have to take it off this little handy stand right now and you pull straight back. This is meant so that you don't twist it, you just pull it straight off the unit. And, very important, you turn it off when you go to mount it on the camera. You don't want to have any kind of shorting. Straight on. Again, you don't want to twist it and lock it in place with the neural knob. So we activate it. And remember, it does have a memory so it remembers your last setting. So it's still on S1. So you press it again and you switch to mode manual. And now I can fire off with my camera. And since I have it at the lowest setting, it can shoot much more faster continuously. Now we're going to turn it off, remove it again, and again you pull straight back. You don't want to do any of this moving back and forth because when you do that you tend to loosen the hot shoe on your camera and that's an expensive proposition. So let's mount it back on here again, lock it in place, we turn it on and we're first going to use S1. S1 is for your full manual setting on your built-in flash. So that way when you fire the flash it also fires your strobe. I'm going to lower the power so I can not blind the viewer and now I'm going to switch it to S2. Now your S2 is the mode that you use when you want to work with the TTL setting on your built-in strobe. That way it ignores the pre-flash that they always use. And again when you fire, that also fires off the flash. Now you also have the capability of further diffusing by pulling out the little diffuser in here. This is great because in today's DSLRs we have our standard 18 to 55s or 18 to 135. So when you shoot at 18, you want to make sure that in your group shots you get the people on the ends are going to have nice and diffuse lighting as opposed to having a harsh center lighting only. Plus you also have the white card which is for bounce. Remember you have the capability of bouncing this strobe so this way you can diffuse your lighting even further to get nice soft portraitures. And if you, in case you're in a situation where you don't have the proper ceiling you can also bounce it off one of the white walls. And I notice how I said white. You want to make sure that you always deal with a white surface because remember when this strobe hits a surface that same color is going to reflect back onto your subject. Now this is the first itineration in Altera Photo. You can purchase just a flash which comes with the stand and the handy case but they also have another kit which comes with a nice diffuser. This now allows you to further diffuse your flash beautiful because it works with velcro so it allows you to put it on here and then lock it in place. Now 
This also works on existing flashes. So if you at one point have other strobes that you might want to work with, this will also attach onto that. So we fit it on here. Actually, it's always better to loosen it up a little bit so it gives you more room. And then you place it on. And the handy Velcro will hold it nice and tight in place. So now you have even wider diffusion, especially if you're working with some of these ultra wide angle flashes and diffusion systems that are on the market. You want to work with something like this. Plus in the kit, you also have your wireless remote. This allows you to control your camera wirelessly. Remember on most cameras, you have a wireless setting in the back. This one happens to be a Rebel. So when I activate the menu, here is your menu setting and you're going to shoot it over to the wireless mode. And in the wireless mode, I can now activate it. So, oh, very important. You also want to make sure you remove the little plastic covers. Now it is set for wireless mode. So this allows you to now set it to control it on a wireless situation. And of course, you receive some high power alkaline batteries. The higher the amperage, the better. And your magic fiber, microfiber cloth, which is great for today's multi-coated optics and our LCDs. Hope this video was helpful to you. If you have any ideas on photographic videos, please subscribe to the link below. And remember to shoot us an email at video at digitalgoja.com. Happy shooting.